Tex Johnston was well aware just how lively the Dash 80 was. He saw a need to share this knowledge with the public. Uh, we, Boeing, had the, the first jet airplane, which was going to reduce the size of the world by a factor of two when measured by flight time. Uh, never before in the history of aviation has there been such a gigantic step. I was convinced that uh, that uh, the people should really understand what what the get their attention. In other words, the annual unlimited hydroplane races during Seattle Sea Fair Week always attracted huge crowds. In 1955, the International Air Transport Association and the Society of Aeronautical Engineers planned to hold their annual meetings in Seattle coinciding with Seafair Week. Boeing Chairman Bill Allen asked Tex to make a test flight on Gold Cup Day with a pass over the Gold Cup course. Tex realized he had a unique opportunity. Aviation people from all over the world would be watching. Telling no one, he planned his own special demonstration of the Dash 80's capability. Uh. Tex had no announced plan, nor was there any consideration of making a barrel roll over the, over the, uh, uh, the speedboat course on Lake Washington that day at all. In fact, he didn't have a minimum crew. I did a 180 degree turn, came back down over the water, pulled up, established the climb, put in full aileron, did a nice 1G roll, and came out in level flight. And I knew that no one would believe what they had seen so I turned around and came back and repeated the same thing on the westerly heading. I happened to be out at the course. I was not on one of the boats, but I came out on the course and I saw him make the barrel rolls and uh, I was dumbfounded. And I was as close to the program as anyone was. So uh, he changed sort of forever the image, let's say, of the Boeing Company and uh, of the Dash 80 with that one maneuver. The test flying program for the 707 lasted four years. Tex Johnson had his own way of thrilling airline executives with demonstration flights. IATA, the uh, International Air Transport Association, which includes all the airlines of the world, had assembled in Seattle for their annual convention. And Boeing just happened to have a prototype airplane that was going to shrink the world by a factor of two. But I've sold fighters and commercial airplanes, and you demonstrate them to impress people what they're capable of. And I knew the, the prototype, and there's one maneuver that you can do with no hazard whatsoever. I decided that I would do a roll to impress the people. So I came across and did a Shondell. One of my test engineers happened to have his camera with him, and he snapped the picture, which is famous today, with the airplane on his back, and the engine's up on top of the wing, and the Lake Washington below. I was called to Mr. Allen's office uh, Monday morning, and Mr. Allen asked me what I thought I was doing, and I said I was selling airplanes and uh, explained it's a 1G maneuver, and it's absolutely non-hazardous, but it's very impressive. And uh, his comment was, uh, you know that, now we know that, but just don't do it anymore. <laughs> 